you guys know, it's now being recorded. So I'm very honored and excited to announce our one woman elite contender panel, and that is Lori Miggins. Now I'm gonna brag on Lori just a little bit. Lori is originally from upstate New York and currently resides in Florida, in Orlando, Florida. We were just talking about how her blood is now acclimated to the Florida weather since being there for nine years. Uh, she has three beautiful kids, uh, two girls and one boy. And she's married. She's been married to her husband, Robert, for 13 years now, which <laughs> I think is a whole a whole nother conversation, right? Like, what is your secret? <laughs> so um, she started her journey with Beachbody back in September of 2014. And since then has just been kicking butt, taking names and saving a lot of lives along the way. Um, since enrolling, she herself has helped at least five people every month with the challenge pack. She's a Success Club 10 all-star. And get this, she truly is a leader who knows the way, shows the way and goes the way because she also has a success club base of 14 person sponsor coaches who earn success club every month on average so I think that that's a huge deal and I think that it's an even bigger deal that she is willing to share some of her tips and best practices on how she creates a so get your notes ready um, jot down any questions you may have throughout the conversation and once she's finished we're going to open up the discussion for an open forum an open masterminding for you to share your tips or ask your questions and for us to also share best practices on vision and goal setting for 2016 okay so without any further wait Lori Miggins take it away okay so should I just share my screen first Sure, I just put you in the okay. spotlight so you do whatever you right. want to do. There we go. You guys can see that? Play. Okay. Um, I'll just tell you, first of all, I actually grew up on Long Island, New York. I went to college upstate New York, so my blood even thinned. Um, my blood had to get thicker up, up there with the cold, and then now I'm down here in Florida, so it's thinned out a lot. Um, but like, um, like I was so nicely introduced, yes, I'm a mother of three. I am a two-star Diamond Beachbody coach. I am a former special ed teacher and a coach and leader of the Flawless Empire and co-founder of Team Flawless. And I love to organize. I have a page on Facebook called The Organized Mom. That is truly my passion. And I love the 21 Day Fix and everything Autumn and Tony Horton. I originally, I'll just give you a little bit of my story. I originally fell in love with Tony Horton back after I had my second and you can see in that top picture, that was me after I had my second. And I um, found P90X, like lots of Beachbody coaches found P90X and fell in love with it. I just did the program. I never did nutri the nutrition plan. I never did Shakeology. Um, and I got to where I thought was my, my that I could do a dog fight. I thought I got to where um, I could be my potential. And so I, you know, long story short, we ended up having our third and I knew I wanted to do something being up late at night. I saw T25 infomercials. I had fallen in love with Sean T being that I did some of insanity, got T25, looked on Facebook, saw a friend running challenge groups, inquired about challenge groups, she was running one. I said, I already had T25. She talked me into Shakeology, getting it with the 21 day fix. Anyway, long story short, after hearing all the people in the challenge group on like day one, day two, talk about the 21 day fix, I'm like, let me give this a try. So since then I have been hooked. Um, I was even asked to be in the infomercial. I wasn't a feature in the 21 day fix, but I was in the, in the audience and had a blast doing that. Um, let me just tell you a little tiny bit about my story and why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing now. Um, about four years ago, I lost my absolute best supporter, best friend in the entire world, my dad. Um, I lost him to depression. And depression is one of those illnesses that you can't see. It's still a disease, just like cancer, just like anything that we can see. but people don't think it is. It's a disease of the mind. And um, there's lots of different things that, you know, play a factor in that. And if you feel good about yourself and if all of the environmental factors in your life are positive, 
you can kind of have a better chance of getting over that. Um, so that was four years ago, and it really drove me to just be a better person, be healthier, be the best that I could be. Well, after I had my third, did the 21 day fix, like I said, became a coach. Um, three months ago, I lost my other best friend, my mom, to breast cancer, undetected. So I'm not telling you this to make you feel bad, just telling you that um, I, the chapters of my book just keep, keep, it just keeps adding to it. Pages just continue to be written. At first, my why was, you know, of course, my family, then my dad. Now I feel like it's my mom. It's just everyone. I just want to help people, whether it's mental illness, physical illness, just make the most of while you're here because you never know how long that's going to be. Um, so it just, it really pushes me. It really drives me to continue to do what I do every day. When I started this journey, I had no intentions of being a coach. I remember telling my coach about that I had several friends who were interested in what I was doing. She's like, you need to become a coach. I was like, I don't have time for that. Long story short, 14 months later, here I am on this call. I can't believe talking about this. Um, when I was asked to talk about how I create a success club culture on my team, immediately I, I, I freaked. I'm like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I do. So I asked my team, like, what do you guys think I do that pushes you guys? I mean, you're the reason why I am being asked to do this call. So these are some of the answers that I got from them straight from the source. They say that the trainings, and I'll talk more about these things, but I just wanted to give you a rundown of what they said. My trainings, my coach website, the tools available to all the coaches from the start that I give them right from day one. Um, I'm consistently available, they tell me. The team culture that I've created to uplift all by sharing everything and anything that I know. There's a lot of coaches that jump on board our team and they're like, wait, you're gonna give me that? You're gonna give me that? It's kind of like this call when people share like charts and diagrams and pages and things. I mean, it's not a dog eat dog world. We're all in it for the same reason. And so many people that join this, it's hard for them to make that switch and understand that. Um, so they really appreciate that. Also sharing posting calendars from upline coaches, ideas of what to post each day, being friends with other coaches on the team immediately. As soon as they become coaches, they try to become friends with as many people on the team, tagging other coaches and sharing other coach transformations. We have a file on our page full of coach transformations within our team. So if you're stuck and you want to do a transformation Tuesday post, you just go there and grab one tag that coach. It's like a win-win for both coaches. Also, they love my leaderboards. Um, they love the shout outs, the random top coach of the week, things like that. Personal best month shout outs, my team calls and my coach calls, which I will talk more about. So basically I went through this list and I picked my five, my six key areas, really my five, but these are the, the things that I'm going to talk about today. Um, the first I'm going to talk about is team calls and coach calls and that my team website, my Facebook page, which I know many of you have my self paced training groups for both coach basics and emeralds, and then how I praise my coaches. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about future planning and goals for 2016. So the first thing that I do with the team is team calls. And I know that lots of you do team calls. Every Monday, we have an all-team call. So my team, The Flawless Empire, we all get on Monday night. And not all, of course, because we all can't make it. But I do record my calls. I was just talking about this with Keyshawn. And um, it's just so hard. I have so many teachers on my team, I think, because I, I was a teacher. So lots of my friends are teachers. Um, and it's really hard because there's time differences and husbands don't get home. So I do record my calls. I, I'm a fan of it because we have an archive of calls now that coaches that just got on the team can go through and look at the subject areas and they can rewatch calls. So I'm a big fan of recording calls. So I also do um, on Wednesday nights, I do coach calls. So the first Wednesday night of every month is a new coach call. So brand new coaches or coaches, you know, a few months into it, if you want to jump on a Wednesday night call and have pretty basic coach call questions answered, that's the night for you. 
The second Wednesday would be my Emerald coaches. So all of my Emeralds, or maybe coaches that are almost Emerald that have more advanced questions, the second Wednesday is for them. And then the third Wednesday is for my Diamonds, which I'm only a two-star, and one of those is my husband. So I really, this isn't really a Diamond call yet, but these are plans for 2016. These are my coaches that are almost Diamond and really pushing for Diamond right now. And then the last Wednesday of every month, I hold open for coach opportunity calls. And I didn't put fourth Wednesday there because some months have five Wednesdays. So I just left it as the last Wednesday of the month. We're going to do a coach opportunity call if needed. Um, something that I have also for my team, though, is I recorded a coach opportunity call just of me doing the call with my slides and everything that they kind of have as a tool to use whenever. So they don't have to wait for the last Wednesday of the month or the next sneak peek. They always have it. If they have someone interested now and they don't want to wait, they can send them that, that YouTube video of, of me doing that. Um, so that's my team calls. Now this is my team website, which I recently created a couple of months ago because on my team, I have a lot of people that aren't necessarily Facebook savvy or they might miss stuff in the Facebook group page for my team. So I created this team page um, I also have a lot of teachers that maybe don't have access to Facebook during the day or a lot of people with corporate level jobs that can't check Facebook, they, but they need a way to access stuff without getting in trouble. So it's just a regular website that I created on Wix. I bought the domain name for like, I don't even know, $20 a year or something. And it's been fabulous. It's so great because the Facebook group page, the file section is just a mess. It's so hard to organize it. Facebook hasn't come up with a way to develop folders. So this really was a great way for me to organize my Facebook page in a whole new fashion. So if you can't find it on the Facebook page, chances are you can find it here. And you can see on here I have a calendar. That's my live Google team calendar. So I have all my calls on there. I have pretty much a skeleton of what you should be doing as a coach. For example, the first week of the month, we like to promote this group. And then the third week of the month is the challenge group. So there's a lot of general things on there that new coaches can jump on the calendar and be like, okay, so this is, the, this is what we're going to do. This is the plan. Um, coach calls are on there, topics that we're going to discuss. Anything that changes, they can go on the calendar. There's um, a tab for new coaches, so there's lots of things under there that new coaches need, like setting up EFT, you know, all the things that you go through your Facebook page when you get a new coach and you tag them in, everything's there. And then there's more coach resources. I also have trainings on this page also. So if you're not Facebook savvy, you can go to this page under trainings. There's a tab for new coach basics. There's a tab for Emerald. There's a tab for Diamond. And then there's a tab for New Star Diamond. Also, um, and then I have challenge groups. I have all different challenge group guides, different posting options, just anything and everything. And I'm constantly updating this too, which is great. I have lots of coaches on my team that are creating and developing and, and just making great things because we work so well together. And once I see that, they give it to me and I put it on the team page. I use it, they use it, their coaches use it. And then the team call is the last one, and I have links to get to the team call, the times of the team calls, and then all the archived team calls are right there on the website. So this website has been fabulous, and it's mobile-friendly too. It shows up really nice on your phone, so if you're out and about and you need to you know, get anything, I really highly encourage a team website. Because Facebook, you know, it's, it's just hard for if you're working and you're not, you know, you're, you're not able to access Facebook. Also, we have a Facebook team page. Of course, that's where we started. Um, but like I said, the file section is packed, and I try to keep it organized, but that's what made me create the, the team website. I'm moving that over. Um, we also have a live file on our Facebook team page. It's called, whatever month it is, Team Success Club Points. And it's a file that when you earn Success Club Points, you go into the file. Once you see the Success Club Points, hit your coach online office. You, write your, you type your name, and then you put a two. And then if you sell another challenge pack, you make it a four. So it's a live file that you're keeping yourself accountable for. The other people on the team are seeing, ooh, that file was edited. Ooh, it was edited by Heather. Ooh, look, she's got six success club points. That might push me to think, okay, I need to sell some challenge packs, get my success club points up. 
the team really likes that. I thought it was going to be a little bit too competitive, but they seem to really like it. It gets them going. It gets them to remember. It, it pushes them. The only people that don't like it are the ones that aren't on it or the ones that aren't pushing their business. And we'll talk about that later. But um, also my live team Google Calendar is also on my Facebook page. It's on the website also. It's amazing how you can create the Google Calendar and you can have it live on all the different things. So you change it one place and it updates everywhere. The coaches really like that. I also have on my um, team page a pin post to the top of the page. It basically introduces me. It explains what the team page is all about with links to three important things, which my coaches love because all they do is they tag their new coaches to the pin post and then they see the link for the team website with the password. They see the link to the self-paced self -based basic training group. And they also see this last thing that I'll talk about later on, which is um, my team. We have a personal development group that we just created but I'll talk about that. So those three things immediately, as soon as they um, tag their new coaches to this pin post, they see those three things right off the bat. And then I'll talk about one of those things, the self-paced training groups, which my coaches love. I have three. One is coach basics. One is Emerald training and one is social media training. And I'm launching that in 2016. That's on my team goals. Um, and that was inspired from a couple weeks ago from one of the speakers. I can't remember her name, but she said she had a social media boot camp. And I'm like, I'm totally creating that social media self-paced training group. Love it. Um, so basically, my, my self-paced training groups work like this. It's a separate group on Facebook. And it's all set up so that there's a file that you tag your coaches in. And it's listed with all of the days, so the 21 days of the training, and then it has day one and a link. And the link takes them to an album in that group. It's like a photo album. So I'll have a picture and it'll say day one. And then you post on it and the explanation for the picture is the training. So it'll say day one, here's your why, what's your why, this is some things that you do with links. Basically, it's the coach basics training from, for that Beachbody created. Maybe I added a few things that have worked with my coaches. So what they're asked to do is to post to that album and tag their coach and say, I did this or done or whatever it says to do. It'll say like, I completed day one, post below with your coach. So they know that you did this. So basically, you put them in the coach basics training group. You tag them in the post, the pin post. It tells them exactly what to do. The pin post has a checklist with links to each lesson. Like I said, the albums are created for each day of the training. They tag their coaches in the lessons when they're completed. It really allows the coaches to go at their own pace whenever they enroll throughout the month. I started out coaching and doing coach trainings and doing them pretty much once a month. The beginning of the month, we're going to have a coach basics training. And then I would have coaches enroll in the middle of the month or the end of the month. And they're like, okay, I'm ready to be trained. Do I start the coach training now or do I wait for the next one or am I two weeks behind? So this really allows for coaches to enroll at any time of the month and get started right away. And I have a lot of coaches that want to just get it all done with. So they'll do like three or four days in one day or maybe they'll just have a really bad week and they won't be able to do any and then the next week they pick back up. So it really puts it in their hands, um, you know, to, to go at their own pace. So I've had a lot of good feedback from that. And I highly recommend self-paced groups. Another thing that we do, of course, I used to be a teacher and kids and pets, positive reinforcement. We give treats, right? For good behavior or good work. I mean, pay for your performance. So leaderboards, of course, most of my coaches like it. The ones that don't are the ones that aren't on it. The ones that, you know, are not pushing their business forward. Those are the ones that don't, don't like the leaderboards. Well, if they want to get on the leaderboards, they've got to do something in their business. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make them drink, right? Um, the, the live file with the success club points throughout the month, that is huge. Coaches are, are tagging other coaches on our team page, like, way to go. How'd you get 80 success club points? I mean, I had a rock star new coach last month that hit 88. It was unbelievable, and she was just getting praise left and right because of that live feed. I mean, nobody knows how many success club points you have unless you do leaderboards or have that file. Um, also the top coach of the week shout outs. 
You can do that at, at any time, any, any time of the week. Just look at your, your downline and, and see who's performing well, who's got high volume, who has high success club points, and just give them a shout out. Just share something to their page. Also, shout outs for success starter. We get those awesome emails now that say, you know, month one, month two, month three, where they're at if they've earned success club. Definitely create something for your coaches and explain to the new coaches what success starter is. I have that in my trainings. It's explained from day one. If you hit success club one, two, three, you get free tickets to summit. You want to be a success starter. So right off the gate, if you've got a, a coach that wants to do something, they're going to want to be a success starter. Also shout out, tag, share transformations. My team just started, like I said, doing this for each other. It's fantastic. Rather than sharing yourself all the time or your same few people or challengers in your group, there's so many coaches within your team, they would love to be tagged because that's like them sharing their own without sharing their own. You're sharing it for them. So those are just some ways to you know, positively reinforce. Um, and then future planning and goals. This is, I just shared this with my team this past Monday. The first thing that was on my um, goals, which I've already done, is, um, oh, sorry, I'll go to number one. First of all, my goals, I told my team, is for our team to be elite next year, no doubt. We were so close this year. I had a really rough October. Losing my mom, not an excuse. My team, they were lifting me up the whole time. They rocked it. I've got a really young team. So I know that in like a month or two, I'm going to be five-star and I'm going to be like, ah, a month too late. But it's all good. It's all good. Things happen for a reason. Um, some more goals. Team shirts for my, for my team, which I recommend everyone doing. That's in the process. We've got order forms. And then this next one is what this cute little picture is up here. I just started a personal development group for my team which I tell all of the coaches as soon as they enroll. It's called Rise and Shine with the Flawless Empire. And it's just a group because a lot of us don't even know what personal development is. It took me so long to get on the personal development bandwagon, and it's one of our vital behaviors. I mean, I don't know why we take so long to get on it. There's a reason everyone's doing it. Everyone's talking about it. So I created this group because there's a lot of people that just don't know how to develop personally. Some people just don't like to read. I'm one of them. Um, so basically this group is a group for us to get on there, share personal development ideas, share podcasts that we find. I just, on this page, I talk about Darren Daly, which is this five minute email video from Darren Hardy, the writer of The Compound Effect. He did that, that speech, that hour long thing that we won with Success Club like two months ago. He's fantastic. It's literally two to three minutes a day of video. It's the easiest way to get in personal development every day. So we talk about stuff like that on here. Um, anything, anything personal development, if you're on this group and you want to share it, it's just a great like feel good group for our team. Um, these are some other goals. More coaches doing coach trainings and completing them. And I shared all these with my team. More coaches utilizing the, the website, not just relying on the team page on Facebook. Of course, continue with success club points, getting more coaches on team calls, getting more speakers on team calls. I started um, having speakers within our team volunteer with subjects that they feel comfortable with. My close to diamonds are speaking every week about different subjects and different, and they love it. The numbers on the team calls have been higher. You know, they get sick of hearing from the same people every week. So have other people on your team in your tribe sharing what they're good at and they love it. So I, I have that as one of my goals to get even more speakers. And it also develops their own leadership and builds their confidence. And then, you know, maybe we'll promote them to start creating their own teams. If they can do a little 20 minute speech like this one on their, on our call, then, you know, maybe they'll be more prone to creating their own team in the future. Also something I'm going to do with my team is sharing the responsibility of the Wednesday night new coach calls. It's really hard for me to commit to every single Wednesday when I'm already committing to every Monday. So why not delegate to other leaders on my team to show up on a Wednesday night and take on those new coach calls. Again, it's going to promote them to feel confident and to, you know, get leadership skills. Um, and also my last goal is to schedule my first diamond retreat. So that's always fun. Um, 
Last slide I wanted to share with you that my coaches love is, I always share this at the end, closing statement. These are all quotes that I picked up from working with Paul Jensen that I love and I love writing them down. You'll never work this business if you're safe. When you're safe, you coast. And when you coast, you're actually going downhill. Go out of your safe zone. Don't coast, pedal fast. Go uphill. The only way to go uphill is with effort. You have to put in the effort. I say that to those coaches that complain about the leaderboards. You're coasting. Of course, you're not going to be on the leaderboard. You have to pedal fast. And I also like to tell them that there's so many people out there that are waiting for them to come into their lives and just go out and make a difference because they're waiting for you. So that's pretty much how I like to end a lot of my calls on a positive note. Um, and that is... That's pretty much what I have for you. That's, that's how I create Success Club in my team. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing those tips. And I, I love it. Um, why just go through, coast through life, right? Live yeah. life. Um, thank you so much, Lori. I'd like sure. to open it up for any questions for Lori. If anyone has any questions, feel free to unmute yourself. I have a question. Yes. Hello, my name is Brian. Hi. Um, with your, uh, with your team page, is that something that you did through WordPress or was that something that you outsourced? Or, uh, but yours is looking prettier than mine. Oh, thanks. I actually did it myself on Wix. Wix.com. Yeah, it's, it's really user-friendly, really easy. I just, I had this vision in my head and I just sat down and like knocked it out in like three or four days. And then I tweaked it and I'm constantly adding to it. I feel like once it's there, it kind of just builds itself. Oh, you muted yourself. <laughs> no, I have a super crowded car, so that's why I was talking to them. Yeah, but no, that's, that's really good stuff. Uh, I love the calendar idea as well. That's uh, where it's like, because I mean, you could just put all the crap that you want to put out on the calendar and then just link to the calendar. And they're like, oh, where's the team calling? You're like, look at the calendar. Ooh, you know, like, so I love that. It's a great idea. Yeah, and I just use Google Calendar. I have Gmail, so I use Google. I have a family calendar. I have my team calendar i can see both at the same time or i can see them separate google's amazing and it's all free so and so on that google calendar you put all of your your team calls one-on-one -on -one calls everything that i don't put my one-on-one -on -one calls but i put everything that's pretty much team related um we try to stick to a schedule of, you know, we all try to do our challenge groups the third week of the month. So the week before that is prelim, the week before that is a free clean eating group or something like that. I put the sneak peeks on there, um, super Saturday events, you know, anything like that. I do put the team calls and then the coach calls, but I don't put one-on-one -on -one or getting started right calls. No. Okay. Um, there's a question from Desiree. She asks, do you outsource any of your stuff, recognition posts, calendar editing? I don't. I do it all myself and I need to because I'm spreading myself really, really thin. But I am starting to listen to some of the things Shalene is doing. She has some great advice and tips for how to do that. I just, um, I think I'm a little bit of a control freak and I like to at least learn how to do things myself first. Um, I think it's really important to when you do create a website to start out creating it and then and then maybe outsource it because what happens when that outsource isn't available or something happens to them or they can't work for you anymore? I think it's good to start out, you know, create it yourself and then maybe have them build upon it. That's good advice. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Lori also shared her vision um, and, and, and a few of her goals for 2016. How are you guys going about setting the vision and, and coming up with goals, your 2016 goals? Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick on someone. Brandy? You're muted. Okay. How am I going about pro promoting vision boards and 2016 goals? Mm -hmm. Or not necessarily vision boards, but just setting the vision that you have for your team. Um, right now, I'm working really closely one-on-one -on -one with my leaders who were this close to Diamond and getting us to Elite. 
Um, and then those who are newer and pushing for diamond and wanting to go really quickly. Um, I've started doing my own team calls as well, just like you know we were talking about on this call, which I think is, is helping to really create the culture for my team because I need to really set culture and a vision for my team specifically because we've done so much this year. Um, but I'm trying to do as much one-on-one -on -one right now as I can and encouraging them to go ahead and set their goals, make it visual. Um, I'm reading Thinking Grow Rich right now, which is rocking my world. And so we're talking a lot about vision boards and even um, like I bought this necklace, which has five stars on it. I'm going to wear it till I hit five star. And I bought this bracelet that says live your dream and has 15 star 2016 on it to hold myself accountable as a wearable vision board. And I'm encouraging my team to do the same, to put it in front of them. We're talking about specific goals, making them very specific, making them, sorry, my two year olds in here. Um, and then making it visual where they see them, where they think about it all the time. But also those one-on-one -on -one calls are really helpful because we talked about the game plan because it's not enough to dream big. We have to have the game plan and the steps and the strategies and then asking them how I can hold them accountable to those things so really it's mainly for me just really trying to get one-on-one -on -one and spend the bulk of my time with those who really want to run with me um, and and go from there so I hope that answers your question yes thank you thank you Brian do you have anything to add on this topic yeah as far as goal setting for 2016 yes. I found that uh, what I did in 2014 and this year was uh, Shaleen's push goal method where you sit down with a piece of paper and a pen and a pen and you think of 10 things and there are literally 10 accomplishments that you want to make for the year it doesn't have to be business related this is your life and understand that if you grow as a person that your business is going to grow as a byproduct of that so it literally is anything that you want to improve upon so maybe reach baby step number four and five and the Dave Ramsey seven you know uh, money make total money makeover steps which you have to build your business to do right um so that's what I like to do. And then you, you go down the list and you find your push goal. And this is the one that's going to be so achieved that if you achieve that, you're going to simultaneously knock out. Oh, am I lost? Am I gone again? I think I'm frozen again. Nope. Nope. We can hear you. We can hear you. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Everyone was just so captivated. They were sitting so still. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you find the one goal that, that if you achieve, you will simultaneously achieve three or four goals at the same time. And that's the goal you focus on. Um, so I do it, I make the 10 goals, I highlight my push goal, and I hang that sucker right behind my computer so you're forced to stare at it. Um, and that is what I've done for two and a half years now, and that's what I will continue to do because it's worked pretty well for us. Love it. Thank you. That was good. Um, I, I forgot about the, the push method, and I love that book. That, if you guys haven't read Shalene Johnson's push, for me, it, it was kind of a, a bit of a game changer. Thanks, Brian. Anyone else have anything to add? Debbie, Desiree, well, Des Desiree, I know that your house is crazy, you said, but if you have anything to type. Dana, Stacy. I, I just would like to say thank you to Lori because my head is like, oh, <laughs> boom. I mean, and I'm trying to do that whole Wix um, website, team website too, and I would start getting overwhelmed though. Um, I think one of Brian maybe said, you know, like, I, I'm glad that you set, told us what tabs you use. And did you find, though, that when you were making it, that your phone, when you, you know, you update your phone and, and look at it on a computer, they're totally different because I'm finding it takes me a long time when I look at it on the website on my phone, it's completely different. It's a mobile version. I think you can yeah. shut that off if you don't want it, but a lot of people like the mobile version. Yeah. Um, it's just- I ordinary. like it, but it just looks completely out of order, so. Yeah, you have to kind of play with it a little bit. I think when you have text and then you incorporate like a picture or a video, it kind of screws it up if, it, if it's on top of and not a yeah. separate thing. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, so, so you kind of have to play with that a little bit. Awesome. I know for me that I find, I wish, you know, I think we all wish we had our own selves as our downline, you know, <laughs> and as driven. And I love how you said the about, you know, you can bring a horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. And um, I found that I finally had to take a step back. And instead of, you know, 
just like always telling them what to do is to try and find their nugget, like find where they need to grow and where they're really positive and focus more on that instead of just, you know, this is what you need to do all the time. So I'm getting that out of these trainings. So thanks so much. Yeah, I, I, I agree with you so much. Cause I've had a few coaches in the beginning. They're like, well, this is just not for me. So I kind of was like, okay, I'll just put it all out there and you can take it. If you want it, run with it. If you want, if you provide everything, then they'll take it. They'll be that horse that is going to drink, you know? Right. But right. You, can't, you can't push because then they're going to push away and you don't yeah. want to do that either. Stay controlling the controllable. Right. That's the only thing that we can do. Um, so thank you so much again, Lori. Um, sure. I think that, again, you dropped some really good nuggets on us. Um, guys, it's what, the 18th of December. Uh, there's still plenty of time left for you to, to go after these goals with Relentless Pursuit. There's still plenty of time to run through that finish line. And in my opinion, a, a part of Finishing this year strong is absolutely planning for 2016. Um, beginning to think about your vision. What do you want your team to accomplish? How do you want your team to accomplish it? Um, what will your team do? How many will qualify for specific events? Um, how many will have uh, earn enough income to choose to be able to retire from their job? How many lives will you guys change? How many pounds will be lost? How many diamonds and star diamonds will your organization have? What type of team will Will you be known as how many pounds will you guys help uh, lose how much money will you donate to your cause of choice these are some of the questions that you want to ask yourself as you are thinking about your goals um, and vision for next year so um, again golden nuggets by Lori this call will be recorded so you can share it with anyone that you know who may have missed it and if there are no other questions then let's go out there let's have a great Friday and let's kick it in strong <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.